meet Zen. He has given eight algebra tests this year. And these are his scores. In the first test, he scored a 78. In the second one, he scored an 80. And 82 in the third and so on. So one day, Zara asks him about his performance in algebra. Now Zen has two options. He can either tell Zara about his score in each test, something like, in the first test I scored a 78, in the second test I scored an 80, in the third I scored 82. And the other option Zen has is to tell his average score over the period. So he tells Zara that he scored around 80-81 in the previous year. Here, Zen just approximately averaged his score over the period to give Zara an idea about his performance. This is far more convenient as compared to mentioning the score in each of his tests. Now let's see how we actually find the average. Consider these five numbers 1, 3, 8, 12 and 16. There is a very simple way in which the average can be calculated. It can be calculated as sum of values divided by the number of values. That's how simple it is to find the average. Look at the numerator first, the sum of the values. Sum of these values would equal 1 plus 3 plus 8 plus 12 plus 16. And how many values do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 values. We divide the numerator by 5. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 8 is 12. 12 plus 12 is 24. And 24 plus 16 is 40. So the average would equal 40 by 5, which equals 8. This is the average of the 5 numbers in the list. The average is also called the mean, or to be more precise, the arithmetic mean. <laughs>